Hi there wig lover, this is Heather from SisterWigs.com and today I'm coming to you from the beautiful Sand Run Metro Park in Akron, Ohio on a lovely autumn day to bring you a review of the Disc Wig by Ellen Villa in the color Aubergine Mix which as you can tell has lots and lots of beautiful raspberry shades in it. It's got a lot of very beautiful plummy violet awesomeness going on. So let's zoom in on this color in this direct sunlight real quick. So I can show you what this is all about. So the color code on this is a 133-131-2. So it has a two in it, which is a really, really like dark brown, basically an off black. It also has a violet in it, a really dark, vibrant violet color, which is that 131. And then it also has a really intense sort of burgundy shade mixed in with it, and that's that 133. So all three of those shades are blended together to create a very beautiful, vibrant, high fashion shade. So very, very cool color. So if you want something that's really intense, but you don't want something that's like fire engine red, so you don't necessarily want the flame mix, the aubergine mix is a beautiful, beautiful red, and it goes really awesome with purple colors, as you can probably tell right here. <laughs> so I'm gonna get out of the direct sunlight now so you can see the wig in a little bit better detail. So what's so special about disc? Well, in my estimation, there are two things that are really, really great about this one. First of all, the colors. This one comes in some very luscious, high fashion colors. This one being one of my favorites, which is why I wanted to showcase this wig in this particular color. And I even coordinated my wardrobe selections to go with it. So give myself a gold star for the day for that one. <laughs> Not that I'm bragging, but um, <laughs> anyway, I, um, I also think that another thing that makes disc really awesome is the fact that the front is so shaggy you know it's it's just it's not just a swoop in the front that's longer than the rest of it because a lot a lot of them you know they just have a, a swoop in the front like a longer front and then the rest of it you know is just pc or you know it's just like a pixie but this gets progressively shorter as it goes towards the back see here but it's so beautifully done it's just really really cool it's almost like a cross between like a like a like a quarter of a wedge cut and then a pixie <laughs> the rest of the way around so I really dig that I think that it makes it really fresh and really unique compared to a lot of the other asymmetrical pixie type cuts that are on the market right now so let's talk some stats shall we this particular wig is 2.6 ounces. It is very lightweight. Now I do think that it fits a little snug on me, but I have a big head. My circumference is 23.5 inches, which is technically a large cap size. Though I exclusively wear average cap wigs because the top of my head is not particularly voluminous. That is an individual thing that you're probably gonna have to experiment with a little bit to find what works best for you. The front of this is roughly five to six inches though. You know, it, it, it varies in length, so take that measurement with a grain of salt. The nape is 1.25 inches, and that's the only other measurement that I think is really worth much of anything, given how uh, asymmetrically this one is cut. <sighs> I'm a little winded, because there were these people, like, just down the holler <laughs> from me in the park who were listening to the Browns game. So I went over there to just go ask them, hey, can you turn it down a little bit? And I started telling them what I did. And they were really interested in it. And then they were like, that's a wig? Because <laughs> I told them, you know, you know, I sell wigs like this one. And they're like, get out, that's a wig? <laughs> I get that all the time for people. And then I was like, yeah, if the direct sunlight hits this, you'll see it's got like all kinds of really cool purple colors and stuff in it. And uh, they said, I would have never thought in a million years that that was a wig. And then the sunlight came out from behind the clouds and hit it really pretty. And they were like, oh my God, that goes so beautifully with your outfit even. And I said, I know, I was just saying that in my video. <laughs> So I'm gonna go ahead and do a little 360 for you so you can see what disc looks like from all sides. So it's pretty cool looking. I'm gonna go ahead and take disc off now so I can show you what the cap construction looks like. 
So, disc has a very lovely monofilament side part. It's dedicated on the left hand side, as most of them tend to be. There's also a generous amount of permatees right up here. We also have open wefted sides, open wefted back. We also have a very nice extended felt nape with very nice Velcro adjusters. I love Velcro adjusters. And we also have these closed felt ear tabs. There's no lace front on this wig. There is a teeny bit of permatease on each side of the monofilament part and that is just to help conceal the wefts but it's not a lot and it does not stick up. Beautiful texture. The hair fiber itself actually feels very very beautiful on this particular wig. Moves very nicely too for a short little cut. The hair doesn't feel stiff or anything like that which is nice because usually in these little shortcuts they tend to be a little stiff. And there you go! This has been a short and sweet review of the lovely little disc wig by Ellen Villa in one of my all-time favorite fashion reds, aubergine mix. If you're one of those people that laments that there aren't enough blue-based reds out there, this one's out there and it's nice and it's dark and it's really pretty and it looks awesome with pale skin tones. So I highly recommend this one as an alternative to the flame mix if you're looking for a blue-based red. Until next time, I'm Heather from SisterWigs.com wishing you a very excellent evening and uh, hopefully you'll check out my web store if you get a chance. It's just www.cysterwigs.com and until next time, have a great night. Bye-bye.